In this video I will show you how to plan your individual training using individual training card that I made. Card is available in 9 languages, so check the video description to get it. Ok, let's start. That's a common situation when you have some free time and decide to use it for training. Of course you have good intentions, you want to get better. You're getting ready, gearing up, taking the ball and finally you are on the pitch. You shot a few times on the empty goal, do some juggling and realize that that's not so fun when you are alone. You're going home and spend this time in the other way. It doesn't have to be in this way. Individual training has to be planned if it is supposed to work. Let me show you 6 steps that will allow you to plan your training sessions with use of my individual training card that you can download from video description. Also make sure that you already subscribed to not miss my next episodes. Let's go! First thing that you need to do is to think about your good sides as a footballer. Maybe your shot is really powerful or you are really well motivated. Maybe you are fast and has a great ability to intercept the ball. Think about it and write it down. Find as many qualities as you can. Next step is to do a similar list but about football things that you can be better in. Try to be really honest with yourself. If you want to be a good player, you need to know your weak spots as well as your good sides. Don't forget to write them down on your individual training card. Take your time, don't rush, take it easy. Third thing. Find your trusted person that you will help you with assessing your good and bad sides and that you can share your progress with. It gives you another point of view and a lot of motivation, what is really, really important in individual training. Step number 4. You need to decide how often will you train individually. My recommendation is to train 1-2 to two times in weeks with team training and up to 4 times in weeks without team training. Of course, every situation is different, you don't have to be so strict with it. Just try to listen to your body for signs of tiredness and react to them. Then you need to know what to train. Let's divide our training in 4 week cycles. During one cycle spend 3 weeks training on things that you put on your I want to get better in it list and 1 week on things that you put on your I am good at it list. Training things that you are already good at will give you big boost in self confidence level. So individual training is not only about working on your not so good sides. Always start each cycle with one week of things that you put on your I'm good at it list. Last thing, you need to have your training equipment. Only thing that you really need to have is the ball. You don't have to have cones and other stuff, all of these things can be replaced by water bottles, shoes and things like that. Of course more training equipment will give you more options for training, but it's not really necessary at the beginning. Ok guys, that's it. That were all 6 steps that you need to go through before start of your individual training. You are almost ready to go. In my next episode I will show you rules of individual training, so make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed, leave like and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments. See ya!